Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21.1. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Dead is Dead series. And it is uh, the start of day six. So now we're kind of getting to the point where we really need to start thinking about Horde Knight. Um, so as you can see, I got a, a forge going here, and I made... I, I put the little bit of iron that I did have in here and then made some iron arrows, so we have now graduated to iron arrows, which is a great thing. And so, we, do we not have a job? Well, oh, that's right, we don't because we switched over to tier two yesterday with Trader Bob, so we haven't taken the tier two quest. So let's um, let's go ahead and do a tier two uh, to get started with. And then after, oh, after that, we are going to, Um, start getting serious about to figuring out for uh, Horde Knight. And I'm just trying to think about how I want to do it. I mean, um, you know, there's lots of different ways, of course, you can do a Horde Knight, especially on Horde 7. Um, so I'm just trying to think of something that might be fun and a little, a little fresh, you know, a little different than the, than the usual. Oh, uh, you know what? He's not actually going to open yet. So, all right, why don't we do this then? Why don't we ride around a little bit? and maybe check out some potential POIs that we could uh, do a Horde Knight on, and we'll do a little bit more hunting whilst we're at it, too. I should use this for hunting so we save our 7.62s for our oh-shit weapon. The thing is, is you have to be kind of close with this. You don't have to be super close, but kind of close. Nice. Um, so one thing I was thinking of, it, yeah, I know I didn't fully load that. I was thinking of doing a pit with pipe bombs. That's always effective. I guess we've already been over here looting. Um, we could do an obstacle course. We could do a bridge with a, you know, trap door idea. I mean, these are all, uh, you know, different horde defenses that all of us have done so many times over it's ridiculous <laughs> you know that's the one thing that kind of I, I don't know if i wish i would say it irritates me about this game but there just isn't hasn't really been anything new in many many alphas in terms of how you fight the horde there's little changes here and there but by and large you know ever since alpha 16 and earlier we're all more or less fighting the horde the same way you know we're using we're using trap doors, we're using bars, we're using, um, you know, um, uh, obstacle courses, that kind of thing. And, you know, I'm not, I don't know what the, the solution is. I'm not saying it's an easy solution, but it just, you know, oh, nice. It's just that that hasn't seemed to change significantly for a long time in this game. And, you know, I don't just play this game for Horde Nights. In fact... Uh, I play this game because I think it's one of the best survival games out there and still is today. I don't even, you know, I don't even play it primarily for the, the zombie theme. It's just zombies are just give me something to shoot at kind of idea. You know, so it's not a, it's not a deal breaker for me, but the, my point is that, you know, there just hasn't really been a whole lot in the way of a fresh way to deal with the Horde Knights. They're just kind of been the same, same old, same old for a long time now. So, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, so let's see here. I'm here busy jibber-jabbering and not paying attention. The Road Gentleman. You know, actually, I haven't... I've I've uh, driven by this little um, truck stop mall place, but I've never actually done it. Because um, it just, for, you know, for whatever reason, never came up on my... Uh, my quests. Oh, you know what? One of you guys informed me too in the comments that the pipe baton is actually not considered a club. It's a it's a baton, like the stun baton in the same class, which makes perfect sense now that I think about it, because it is a pipe baton. Uh, but I just always assumed that it was a club. So yeah, very interesting to to learn that. Uh, we'll we'll hang on to it anyways. In fact, you know we could. 
Nice. We could actually spec into batons because I I really liked the the stun baton in the in the game with all of the all of its perks and stuff. Um. But I I, I did say, you know what? Actually, I, should, I need to start collecting that because I do want to. I do want to make some uh, garden plots here pretty quick. Uh, I, but I did say, you know, at the beginning of this series that we would we would spec into clubs. And I think we will I think we will still do that. Uh, so we'll use this baton for now just because it's the best thing we got. But as soon as we come across a better club, we'll switch back to clubs. But yeah, that was a that was a very interesting uh, comment because I just it didn't even occur to me that this is actually a baton, but that's exactly what it is. I just assumed it was a club, you know. Uh, speaking of which, um, crap metal chains. Okay, nice. I'd like to come across a. We can make uh, quality three primitive bows now. I'd like to come across a. Um. A baseball bat. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen for us here pretty soon. Oh, you bastard. That was so close, too. Oh, man. All right, well, we got it. There's a nice chunk of change right there. And we are encumbered. Uh, we definitely don't need goldenrod. Okay, let's see. It's uh, it's just about time, yeah, for the trader open. And there's a biker over there. I'd rather not mess with him. Nice. So let's get over to the trader and get this job going. Hey, well, Bob. How to do, friend. How to do. All right, let's uh, sell a couple things to you first. Uh, this in particular. Nice. Got a nice little chunk of change out of that deal. Um, let's see, anything else I want to sell to him? We need to start thinking about hanging on to mechanical parts and things like that. Um, lead... Well, that's not enough to sell to him anyways. Let I'm just going to start mining. And we have, we're too shy uh, to sell him the gasoline. Okay, so he doesn't restock until day seven. We've, I think we've already looked at his books, right? What does this do? You always land silently. Don't, yeah, we already know that one. What's this one? Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That's a good one to get. Um, okay, let's keep that in mind. What does he have for weapons? Another pipe baton. I, I might have actually sold that too. I don't remember. Uh, we st oh, yeah, that's right. We still need a, a helmet light, but that's just really expensive. And we don't quite have enough cash for it anyways. We, we probably will after we do this next job for him. Yeah, okay. The sneaking over trash, I mean, that's nice, but we can just break trash. So I think we're gonna peace be with you. We're gonna just friend. hold off and save save our money. Um, okay, so what do you got? You've got a clear that's only eighty one. I've got just the Rua residence. You. Thank you. All right. I don't even know what the hell the Rua residence is. I guess it's that place right there. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm gonna go back to. Uh, yeah, it's just right across the street from us. I'm going to go back to our base for a second and drop a few things off. And then we'll do the Rua Residence. All right, have we looted this mailbox? We have. I guess that's where they want us to start. Let's see if there's anything good in there. we got a couple things. And they just want us to go through the door. Let's hit this mailbox again. Nice. Uh, gain 5% more XP from kills in there. Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to put that stuff in there. We'll throw the clay and the uh, iron in our forge when we get back home. OK, 
Okay. Get that out of the way. Is this door closed? Yes, it does. Okay. Let's get these in bar form. And who do we got here? Just a janitor. Get some bleeds on you. And we'll stun baton your ass. Well, actually your head. Can't reach your ass. Okay. So he he came out of the ceiling there. Any other Zikaroos in here? Nope, I think we're good in the garage for now. That door's locked. Look at that. Nice. That's an upgrade. Um, let's repair that. Let's scrap. I've got a bunch of these back at the base, so let's just scrap them for the cloth. Modify. Take this off. Scrap that too. There we go. Got ourselves a little bit of an upgrade there. Cloth armor is actually a pretty damn good deal. Just because, I mean, I mean, I know it doesn't give you very much protection. But it gives you some protection, but it does not slow you down or make noise. That's the beauty of it. Uh, what are we wearing for pantalones? We're wearing the same thing. Uh, these have better cold resist, but a little less heat resist. We could sell them for eight coin. So let's just hang on to them for now. Okay, I'm gonna grab the cloth. And it's dark. Okay, there's a zombie right in there. Just don't know if there's going to be... There's a Zeke over there, too. Just looking to see if that other one's moving or not. Let's let's deal with you first. I don't think they can get past that. All right. Sorry about the dark, guys, but I can't do anything about it right now. see the one red dot from him. I left my extra torch back at the base. I guess I should have kept it with me to light up the room. Okay, if we can reach that toilet. Don't. door. It'll be quicker than breaking the bar there. I don't see anything else in there. Nice little food pile. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. And now we can make pumpkin pie. Nice little collection of brass there. 
Okay, um, I'm not worried about hop seed or glass or that. We can scrap this. Let's uh, eat this chicken soup right now. And I think it'll be a while before we can do sham, so let's eat that now too. Just, you know, to free up some more space here for us. Okay. Alrighty then. Possible zombie closet right there. We can still retreat into this room if we need to, so. I want to make sure this front room is clear first before we loot the kitchen. I don't know if that's a corpse or if that's a zombie. Not sure. Okay, so we're clear out this way. I think that's just some boards on the door. Okay, let's, um... Do that. There still could be a Zeke in there, but we should be able to now uh, loot this front room and kitchen here real quick without getting snuck up on. Okay, let's proceed. That is a corpse. There's a guy in there. Question is, is there anybody else around besides him? Okay, I've got that door blocked. Got a nice shirt there. And a football helmet. Okay. So this is going to give us a half a point more armor. But it's going to give us 4% less mobility and 10% more noise. So it's not worth it. We might go ahead and fix it up and sell it though. This shirt is going to give us better cold resist, but less heat resist. Uh, once again, I think I would prefer to have uh, the heat resist. So again, we'll see if we can maybe sell that. I don't think there's anybody in here. Okay, we're good to go there. Uh, where's our bicycle? It's out this way. Let's bust out through the front door so I can pop a couple things off here. Okay, up the stairs we go. right there. I'm not even sure that hit him. Yeah, we definitely got to get a torch, but 
a torch back with us until we can get a, a headlamp. Nice. That might be an upgrade. We'll, we'll take a look at it in a second. Since we can make pumpkin pie, we should probably keep those pumpkin seeds. Uh, I'm not worried about that. We can scrap this. Um. Okay, so let's compare these two. Yep, definitely better. A little more stamina cost, but that's okay. And I do have um, a repair kit for that back at the base, but that should be good enough for us for the rest of this POI. All right, cool. That was a nice find. We'll take it. There might be somebody behind the desk there. No, I don't think so. I think that's just the chair legs. Didn't get his attention, huh? All right, let's see if we can do that. And we've got that scope that we found, too. Okay, we got ourselves a new hunting weapon. What do we got? More brass from doors, okay? Doors and... Yeah, doors. Find more medical supplies in there. Doesn't suck. Pick you up and scrap you. What I'm probably going to do is retire the pistol... Now, because, um, just for space. Okay, we got two potential zombie closets in here. get them to come to this door. We got two of them. So get some bleeds going. Should be on their way out here. Excellent. And we have a our yellow dot, so the, the one left to go. Actually, where is that? Oh, it's down below. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to go down into a basement or something. piece of armor. We'll hang on to it until we have a full set. And that is a very nice cold resist upgrade. But not so much on heat. But I think I'm going to keep it. What about this, by the way? Yeah, that's inferior on all counts to what we're wearing. Uh, so we'll keep this for cold weather use for sure. kind of baloney we got going on here. Uh, let's see if we can unlock this. Okay. That's all we had. So, I am not jumping down there. No sir, Bob. Instead, 
Let's do this. The dots like right on the other side of that wall. Oh, they're in there. Okay. Now we just have one female zombo left somewhere. Oh, there you are. To, uh, uh. <laughs> That's just creepy. Uh, I was trying not to use too many 762s there. Here, this does a much better job of lighting up the room. There's some miso. Let's eat that now. Okay, well, we can't open that. Explosives. Assault rifles, traps, and bows. Those are pretty good magazines. That we will... That gives us better heat resist. What are we wearing right now? Oh, uh, no, we're not giving that up. Because that gives us our... Our extra 10% rump speed. Okay, so... Where's the loot? There it is. There it is. That opens something up. Medical supplies. Medical supplies. Crack book. Nice. Um, that I think we'll sell. We'll eventually come across one of those. We always do. Two handy lands. We can now make a claw hammer. That's good. In fact, yeah, that's really good because... Um, Ooh. Okay, this is not as good as what we're wearing, but we'll definitely fix it up and sell it. We could put this on... Can we put that on our Kniffy? We can. Let's put that on our Kniffy. Uh, Alright. So, I don't need the stone. I'm not taking 16 gunpowder. I'm taking one piece of paper. Everything else I think I want to hang on to. Uh, let's repair that. And we'll repair that too. And that requires some pipe, which I have back at the base. Nice. Okay. I don't know what that just opened. The front door, maybe? This door? What did you open? Oh. Okay. Let's go do our turning. Here you go, friend. Howdy, Bob. Whatever you need, just say the word. Boy. That's really nice to have, too. That's a pretty generous amount of shotgun ammo. Um, but we have some honey, and we have at least one herbal antibiotic. I think we're going to go with this, because it is definitely an upgrade from what we have. And the uh, the Kniffy is like one of our main melee weapons. All right, let's uh, take the next job from you, which is going to be Would you a clear at the Contino residence. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything you've done. I'm glad you are. Okay, let's sell some things to him. 
I'm going to sell this and that. Um, I don't think I want to burn a repair kit to sell that, so I'm just going to sell it as is. Sell all of that stuff. I'm going to sell him that. And I think we'll keep everything else. I'm going to keep this yellow bone knife just as a backup. Okay, so that gets us up to 8,000 coin. Um, where was that? This. I, I think, you know, not having a helmet light is such a royal pain in the ass. Um, and this is light armor that I think we're going to buy this. And, and as soon as I do, we're going to either loot one or come across a helmet lamp. But you know what? Much obliged, stranger. As I always say, a helmet lamp in the hand or on the head is better than two in the uh, the bush. I don't know. That was really dumb, but you, you get the point, right? Okay, anyway. <laughs> I should quit while I'm behind. Uh, let's just sell this because we're not we're not going to take that for helmet here. off Coming our here. head for the rest of this playthrough. And, well, unless we come across a better one. Excellent. All right, you guys. Um, we don't really need anything from these. Uh, I just don't have enough money for that kind of thing right now. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to figure out, I'm going to spend the rest of today, day six, trying to figure out what we're going to do with a horde night because I'd like to have that decided, um, you know, before we do anything else because I don't want to be scrambling at the last minute. So I'm going to get that figured out and then... Once I do have that figured out, I'll bring you back at some point. Maybe maybe to see part of, you know, the preparation for it, or maybe I'll just do it and show you the end result if it's not, you know, nothing spectacular. And then we'll go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And uh, let's hope that we can continue Life 3 here in the Dead is Dead series. See you later. Bye-bye.